Hi, today I wanted to show you a thing. So you know how we have a calendar applet, right? Well, if we go to its settings, we can actually enable in the calendar section the plugins for some events and then apply the setting. This will enable a events sidebar in the applet itself, as you can see. Then we can go to the time zone section and then add some time zones, such as a division, as an example. And if we apply the setting, we'll now see that the calendar applet will also have a time zone section, which sure is nice and everything, but now look at this beauty. This is such an improvement and the applet is so much more consistent. As an example, the top bar days, months and years is just like the one that we can find in the volume applet. Also, the selected and hovered highlight goes from being just a solid blue to our consistent highlight with a blue outline and light blue inside that we can also find in kickoff as an example. We also finally have the plasmoid heading used consistently both in the heading and in the time zone section. And this is something that we've always wanted to do and that is in the original mockups, but how did I get this new calendar? Well, it is a proposed work in progress version, which means that it's a merge request. And you can actually try out merge request to see if anything is wrong, which is called reviewing them. So let's try to take something useful from this video. Let's go to invent.kde.org and then in the search bar, search for Plasma Desktop, which is the, you know, Plasma Desktop component. When we've got it, we can click on it and then go to the left sidebar when we will find the merge requests section. And in here you can find all of the merge requests that are currently made to Plasma Desktop. And they are even tagged, as you can see. Let's click on this one, better kickoff. So first we should get an idea of what this request is about reading the description, which in this case warns us that the request is indeed not ready for production. And we can also see what changed in the changes section. So let's actually try this out. We can first see that the applet is actually much smaller. It seems like much of the margin was removed. And we've also got a new type of heading with application and places being big and gray. It was also added a second line and in, under the application name that says what it is. And on the right, and we even get a pin button to keep it open if we're doing something else. We can also give a look to the computer and high story sections, which again look much slicker with the new headings. And if you don't like something, keep in mind this is a merge request, which means that it's not by any means final code. Even if we try to search, all the applet will collapse in few pixels of width, so this is clearly a bug which should go into the merge request if Noha didn't already know about this. So trying out new code to see if it's working is super useful and something that everybody can do it if they own know how. But what if they don't know how to do it? Well, first of all, go see my video about setting up your developer environment, which is super useful in this case. And then finally, the rest of this video will showcase how to implement one of the uh, merge requests that we've seen to the calendar. So I've got the merge request open up. So again, check out the description and the discussion around it. And then also the source directories regarding them. Click on the checkout button and then just copy paste the first and then second command into the console. Uh, the second command will give me an error because I've already run it so that directory exists already but you won't get this error for sure. Then go to the build directory corresponding to the search directory and uh, make install your changes. If the code change is split upon many different uh, merge requests, make sure to switch to the second one and then um, check out the changes in the second directory. Make sure that you do this in the order that's defined in the content of the merge request itself. If no order is specified, it's probably fine to do either one first. Then again, go to the build directory and make install your changes. 
Now in my case I'm actually switching from the new calendar back to the old one so the end result for me will be the old calendar but for you if you correctly type the git fetch and the git branch commands will be the new calendar. Then type source prefix.sh in the build directories and restart your product which in this case is plasma shell with plasma shell restart or it could be queen with queen restart or I don't know dolphin even just type dolphin and as you can see I've got my old calendar back so seriously if you have free time and want to contribute to plasma just go to the page for the merge request and check them out review them and see if they're working nicely and tidy ready for production